One of NBC's popular action drama series Chicago Fire wrapped up its 10th season and is greenlit for season 11. With so many things that happen in the finale, a lot more questions are raised in the air. Fear not, because Chicago season 11 is coming, and here's everything we know about the upcoming season so far. Just a word of caution, but today's video contains major spoilers from season 10's finale, so consider yourselves warned. So what do we know so far about Chicago Fire season 11? News of Chicago Fire being renewed was announced back on February 27th, 2020. At their press reveal and so far, the storyline for season 11 is still kept under wraps and the beginning of each season is dependent on what happens during the last season's finale. What we're sure of is that Captain Matthew Casey will not be returning in the next season since the actor, Jesse Spector, is stepping down from his role. After playing the character for 10 years, he says it's finally time to bid him goodbye to explore and do other things which include taking care of his family. It was a difficult decision because I've loved this show from the start, but there are other things that I would love to do in the future and there's some family that I need to take care of. The actor shared in an interview with People, I was marking off these milestones and looking for the future, and it was time. Spencer also added that the writers of the show made a fitting plot to wrap up the storyline, saying, It felt so organic for me and a perfect full circle, and a really reasonable way for Casey to organically leave. Spencer already spent his last episode on set, which also happens to be the series' 200th episode, but news of his return in the finale of season 10 circled through several social media outlets. Fans have been asking this burning question as to whether or not Captain Casey will return to celebrate his friend's wedding. And speaking of weddings, a lot of fans are also looking forward to the wedding of Miranda Ray Mayo, Stella Kidd, and Taylor Kinney's Lieutenant Kelly Severide. To this, co-showrunner Derek Huss was careful to answer this lingering question, saying it would be amazing if Spencer will return for it, but he admitted that he already talked to the actor into coming in for just one more episode. I don't want to promise anything until cameras are rolling, Haas continued, but it is our great expectation that we will see both Casey and his girlfriend, Brett, in the season finale. Because giant, big, exciting things are gonna be happening. This will be the best finale ever. I'll go ahead and say it. Haas also promised that the show will bring the much fourth away Stella Ride wedding, which he described as very memorable. Even he admitted that the two ending up together has been a long time coming, but he did also say that it might not exactly happen the way the characters have in mind to happen. Both characters share a deep love for each other, and unfortunately, they also share a dark history regarding relationships and marriage, with Kid coming from a horrible and abusive partner, whereas Severide also had a terrible and somewhat abusive marriage, as seen from his parents' complicated relationship. Hanako Greensmith and Eamon Walker, who plays Violet Mikami and Chief Bowden, will also also play a role in the two's wedding. Greensmith said that she'd love to see her character help Kid with her wedding, or in any way, since she finds it's nice to see the women of 51 work together. Then there's also Walker, who plays the on-screen role of Kid's dad, who also sees her as a surrogate daughter, so he finds it nice that he gets to give her away. Speaking of romance, Violet Mikami's relationship got pretty complicated in season 10, with her ex-boyfriend and fellow firefighter, Blake Gallo, is now also at 51, while she's in a new relationship with Hawkins, the paramedic chief. Working with an ex on the job could be pretty taxing and not to mentioned Violet and Hawkins will most likely encounter problems sooner rather than later, but she is surprised that the audience is taking her new relationship well, saying that it's believable and that people are invested. On the other hand, Bowden went through some pretty tough situations wherein he got taken as a hostage. In this episode, Bowden's performance as an actor was a deliberate move by Haas. He suggested the idea of Bowden facing Jeopardy alone with not one of his crew present, which left Walker to fill the room with his drama and a sight to behold on screen. Afterward, he admitted that his brain was still there, and he had an amazing time filming the episode and ending the statement by saying the horse was allowed to gallop. So is there a release date for Chicago Fire Season 11? Based on previous seasons, we can assume that Chicago Fire Season 11 will be released at the same time as Chicago Med and Chicago PD. So we're assuming it's slated to be released sometime this September after taking a break for several months. Usually, we don't get news about when the next season will be released until the current season has finished airing. Out of 11 seasons, six of Chicago's Fire Seasons premiered in late September and aired on a Wednesday, so if we're going to be specific, Season 11 will be released on September 28, 2022. Season 9 was by far the only season that suffered a much later premiere in November 2020, brought about by the COVID-19 outbreak, which had the showrunner and producers caught up in the difficulty because of the strict health protocols. This season has also had the shortest number of episodes, only having 16 instead of the usual 23 or 24 episodes. However, Chicago Fire's first season began in early October 2012, as well as seasons 4 and 5 right before Halloween. But it looks like the creators and the cable network have decided that airing it in late September is the best choice out of all the previous seasons. Where can I watch Chicago Fire? You can catch Chicago Fire Season 11 on NBC television networks, which are the series' official distribution channel. But if you have no access to said platform, Chicago Fire is also available for streaming on Netflix, Hulu, and Peacock. Fans are curious if this certain character will also be exiting the show next season. It's pretty normal for several actors to leave a show after playing the respective characters for a while. Most leave on good terms to explore more things outside their comfort zones, while others left due to personal reasons. Another 
Another popular rumor that went around for a while is that Kara Kilmer, the actress who portrays Sylvie Brett, will also be leaving the show. What's even more shocking about what we hear in the rumor mill is that the actress is also pregnant. People can't help but think she's leaving the show since Sylvie has been in a long distance relationship with Casey, so some fans naturally assumed that she will leave Firehouse 51 to be with him. However, all these rumors were quickly dismissed, and it's thanks to co-showrunner Derek Haas, who revealed that a lot is in store for her character this season 10. According to Haas, Sylvie will be meeting her half-sister Amelia, as well as her stepdad Scott. Not only that, but Sylvie's birth mother's husband is also slated to make an appearance, and Haas promised that she's got some fun storylines, since they like to see her smile. As for the pregnancy rumors, it started going around because of the actress' choice of clothing in the show, where she's been wearing puffy jackets that hide her figure, so many fans believe that she's covering her stomach. Since we're already discussing the actress's life, it's interesting to know that at first, she was hesitant to be Casey's love interest. Sylvie Brett made her debut in season 3, replacing Leslie Shea after the latter got killed when a building collapsed on her. At that time, Casey was romantically involved with Dawson, who was a close friend of the late Shea, so it took a while for Dawson to warm up to Sylvie, but they managed to become good friends eventually. Sylvie was also supportive of Dawson and Casey's relationship, but when the two got divorced, it took a different turn for her story. Kara Kilner was shocked when the creators approached her for her character to be the new love interest for Casey, and in an interview with Cinema Blend, she recalled that the pairing is so wrong. She further explained that she was invested in Dawson and Casey's relationship, but thankfully, the creators walked her through that their relationship will be a slow burn that would focus more on their friendship and support for each other. Who could deny such an offer, seeing the two share a lot of similarities? Plus, they also come from breakups at the same time, so it was natural that they would depend on one another and fall in love. So we'll see how the two will make their relationship better next season. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. With that, we're ending today's episode about everything you need to know about Chicago Fire Season 11. What do you think will happen next season? Let us know in the comment section below some of the theories you think may happen in Season 11. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.